with nearly 1.2 new sellers this year alone, is it even worth it to start an Amazon business? Hey guys, what's going on? Bashar K2 here, Amazon FBA seller and mentor from beautiful San Diego. If this is your first time, welcome. Consider subscribing as I drop brand new content every single week about Amazon FBA tips and tricks that you can actually, you know, you can take and put to work out there. Also, drop in the comment sections as your comments really shape the content of this channel. You see, is Amazon saturated is a very common topic and a very common question that I get from many people wanting to sell on Amazon or even people in our program just starting out as, you know, someone who's never had a, a, a business before. It's, it's a scary thing, you know, starting an Amazon business or just a business in general, you know, you want to succeed, right? Whether if it's trying to prove someone wrong or just trying to prove yourself wrong or whatever the case may be, it just, Success is just a great thing for everyone, you know, and seeing everyone, I know when I first started five years ago, it was almost like no one even knew what, you know, the whole e-commerce thing was, you know, I mean, I know for me, when I first heard that you could actually sell on Amazon, I didn't believe it simply because I thought Amazon sells the product that you are getting from them, you know, so when I figured out that regular people like me and you could actually sell our own products on the platform, was mind boggling alone. However, year after year, I just simply started seeing more and more people becoming aware of the concept. Now relatives, friends, people that I know that I grew up with now are coming to me saying, hey, tell me a little bit more about this thing. I've been seeing it everywhere. I've been hearing about it everywhere. So I started kind of really doubting whether this concept is still viable for someone new. I know it's viable for me because I make a full-time living doing it, but I just didn't know if someone that doesn't know exactly anything about it is still viable for them to start because as you all know, I also sell courses and I sell coaching programs and I don't want to be selling something to someone that I don't know they can help them. I am seeing that my students are getting success, but I wanted to see if really everyone else out there could still find success. So I simply went out on a quest and I found out three things that I want to share with you. But before we go in there, just wanted to share last week's winner, which is Trinity Johnson for our weekly giveaway. If you want to be part of the giveaway, drop in the comment section, BJKU to enter to win. Now, the first thing is the amount of sellers. And that's that I was just simply mind boggled and really took back by because this year alone, over 1.2 million brand new sellers have joined the platform of Amazon um, you know, worldwide. And, and now Amazon has over uh, 9.6 total sellers, but about 5 million or 4 million of actual active sellers. And to me, that number was just, you know, it seemed like it's a lot of people to be on the seller side, you know? So to me, it was like, well, if so many more people have joined this year alone, you know, how much more competition has that created? I know I haven't been able to see it because you know, I'm at a different level now. We have brands that we're launching within, right? We're not starting brand new products, brand new brands. So I started interviewing my students and I just haven't been able to see that they are facing any type of difficulties. So I started kind of digging more into the whole concept. So the first thing was the amount of new sellers. But then the second thing I started seeing is that Amazon used to have about 120 to 150,000 employees in 2015. But this year, Amazon is up to nearly 900,000 employees. So that kind of really got me thinking, if Amazon has increased their employees by you know nearly 500% over the past five years, I mean, they're not just paying people just to stand there, right? It's obviously because there's more demand. So I started thinking, well, maybe that's because there are more sellers. But then you start to think, if there are more sellers that are obviously sending more products to Amazon to, to be fulfilled, you need more employees. But then if there are no people really consuming those products, what are these sellers really sending products for, right? So that takes me to the second thing that I started looking into, which was the amount of Prime members. In 2017, Amazon reported that they had over 100 million Prime members. Now, in 2019, Amazon has nearly 150 million Prime members. And then you might say, well, Bashar, that sounds good, but that just simply means more revenue to Amazon. How does that even have anything to do with us sellers or aspiring sellers? Well, it does because an average um, Prime member spends about $1,300 per year on Amazon. So 
they have literally been able to increase in over two years by over 100% technically from 2017 to 2019 over two years. So you have to think if there are more people coming to Amazon to purchase and spend more money and they're willing to pay Amazon a monthly membership or a yearly membership so that they can get their stuff faster and enjoy all the other uh, privileges that Amazon offers Prime members, that simply means that these people are actually coming to spend money to shop from Amazon. And the number, the 1300 has actually increased from about $1,150 in 2015 to now it's actually 1300 per year per Prime member. And that got me even thinking more, and I started looking into their sales. So in 2017, Amazon's North American sales were about 140 million or 140 billion, I'm sorry, in 2019, Amazon generated over $175 billion. That's only in North America. And then internationally, Amazon sales went from about 65 billion in 2017 to over 79 billion in 2019. So when I started putting all those things together, it was very clear to me that simply there are more people now on Amazon than there ever was. And although that it seems like there are a lot more sellers, meaning there is a lot more competition uh, for you as a beginner seller or as an aspiring uh, seller, but that is true. There are more sellers. There's definitely, you know, there's no question about that, but there's also a lot more buyers. And it's, it's very evident by, you know, how many shoppers are on Amazon as in Prime members. Um, how many employees Amazon now has, which has simply, you know, grew by five to 600% in the last five years. And also uh, uh, another thing that I, you know, kind of, you know, like briefly uh, uh, looked into was how many more warehouses they've added. Amazon has increased by over 65% on the size of their warehouses or the number of their warehouses, uh, you know, worldwide. So when you put all those things together, it is very evident that Amazon has simply increased in revenue and although that the numbers of sellers have increased, but also the demand has increased. So to me, and when I look at the numbers, it looks like if let's say there was a ratio of about, you know, one uh, seller to let's say a hundred buyers five years ago, there's now probably about one seller to every 500 buyers. So if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also drop your comments and let us know what more you would like to see of this channel because it, literally your content shapes the future um, you know content of this channel also it helps the algorithm to push the video up in the searches outside of that go ahead and check out those couple of videos that i have here i think here maybe it's here uh or other videos topics that i think that you might like and uh, hope to see you in the next video have yourselves a great day take care